All right, everybody, Michael again. Now we're gonna cover some of the interior features. So if you wanna come on in and join me. First thing we wanna talk about is a control panel here. So this is where you can really see everything and control everything in the trailer. So um, first you can see the lights. So interior lights we have on right now. Um, porch light, which is right here. You can see this one right here, that's the porch light. And then there's also an LED awning light that we can turn on. Um, and then you also have all your uh, controls for your water. So your water pump, um, you can turn that on and you can actually hear it going on the video right now. Uh, our water heater that is run by the propane and our water heater that it's run by the electric. Also, another really cool feature that this trailer has because other trailers usually only have an electric water heater. This one has both uh, electric and gas so that it can heat up quicker. Um, we also have a tank heater on the fresh water tank um, to also allow uh, the water to stay more warm so that when you go to give, um, or when you when you yourself go to take a shower or when you go to give your kids a bath or anything like that, um, the, it doesn't take forever for the water to get hot. Um, and then we also have the slide out controls and the awning controls. So you can see right here, in and out. You see it's already out fully extended and then also the awning um, to extend and retract. So we're gonna cover those things more in detail later. Also, we have all of our uh, uh, level checks. So our battery, our fresh water tank, black and gray. So you can see battery here is full, fresh is empty. Obviously right now, black's empty and gray's empty. So as you go throughout your camping trip, you wanna be keeping an eye on those things, make sure you're not getting to full um, so that you know when you, we, when you need to go dump. Uh, also, as we go around here, also right here, obviously you can see the queen bed. Um, so this is a RV size queen bed. It's a little smaller than your normal queen that you'd have in a home. Um, but I'm six, three and it fits me perfect. Like literally, uh, it's right. My feet are touching the wall. So it's perfect for me. Um, and then obviously my wife's good sleeping on it. So, um, you can also see our TV here. This is a 12 volt TV. So really cool thing is, uh, you don't need to be hooked up to a generator in order to watch our TV. So you turn it on. We're also going to be leaving just the normal DVDs that we, that we have in here. Um, so you can see right here, we just have uh, some of the different stuff, our backup camera, some extension cords, different things in here. Um, and then we also have uh, our manual, all of our different uh, like instructions on things that you can find in here. And then just some DVDs. These are ones that we bought obviously for our own family uh, that we're gonna leave in here. We also have some Uno, some card games, stuff like that, that we'll be leaving in here for everyone to enjoy. Uh, also up here, you have your radio. So one cool thing about this radio, obviously you can run off the battery just fine, has both interior and exterior uh, speakers. And then it also has um, a Bluetooth capability. So you can Bluetooth your phone to it, listen to music on there like that. And then we also have right here, this is a Wi-Fi Ranger. So uh, don't be mistaken, it's not its own Wi-Fi. What it does is if you're in a, if you're in a uh, campground that does have its own Wi-Fi, what this does is it helps boost that Wi-Fi connection and it also gives you privacy. So um, to where you might be signed into the campground Wi-Fi, but this allows it to be a protected Wi-Fi that you and your family can just be on. No one else can get on it. Um, and it's gonna be a stronger Wi-Fi connection as well. So we also have uh, uh, some storage up here. We usually use it for extra linens. Obviously uh, we have uh, an option for people to add uh, extra fresh linens if they want to. Um, and then we're also gonna be obviously including what you see on the bed here. Um, large windows that you can see uh, makes the light come in really well as you can see right now. Um, and then we also have the dinette. This sits four um, or even more if if you have kids and they're small and they're able to fit in there. Uh, we also have some storage on both sides. You can see here, this comes out. You can store whatever you want in there. And this one also comes out as well. And then we also have our little trash can that we're gonna be including in here as well. Um, we're gonna be going in more detail of how to switch this into a bed in another video. Uh, we also have our sink, um, some more storage right here for different utensils, sponges, knives, things like that. Um, we have our stove and our oven, uh, both work great. Uh, cool thing about this, it also has a vent fan on it. So you see your light and vent fan on it. Um, we're going to be going more in detail later of how to operate that. And then also there's a, there's a, a vent on the outside that you have to open for that too. Paper towel holder, uh, obviously another window right here. Some more storage up here. We're going to be including just basic spices and other things. Um, as you can see on our outdoors yet, uh, this is your solo control panel. I'm going to be breaking that down, uh, more further in, in another video, but basic uh, what you can see right there is just the voltage for the battery. So you can see 13.8. That's amazing. Um, and you should be good on that as long as you're not overusing it and you have good sunlight. Um, microwave here and then also fridge. So really cool thing about this fridge. A lot of new trailers are switching to 12 volt. 
but this one's not a 12 volt. This runs off both electric and propane, which is amazing for dry camping. Um, those 12 volt fridges that they have in other trailers um, can really die quickly if you're out dry camping. The fact that this one can run off gas um, and electric is a huge benefit because if you're running out of one or the other, you can switch to, to the other one. So um, just a great feature there. Um, then we also have the large pantry here um, with some lights in here so you can see easier at night. Uh, we also have a small storage space right here if you want to store anything in there. And then here's our bunks. So um, really good sized bunks. Uh, they're perfect for our kids and even, even adults can fit in there. Obviously, it's going to be a little tight, uh, but it's perfect for camping. Um, on both of them, they uh, both have... Uh, they each have a 110 or two 110 outlets, so you can plug in phones and stuff like that um, to charge your phone while you're, while you're laying down and hanging out. Um, and then also you can see there's the uh, bunk door access right there as well. And then also more storage down here that you can fit while you're camping. Um, moving on to our bathroom. Oh, before I forget, there's also lights. Uh, this is a pretty cool feature that we forgot to mention. Um, so when you turn on the main light control, it obviously turns on all the lights, but you can also turn on and off each one individually. So you can see they're off right now, but if you turn it back on, it can turn on by itself. So pretty cool. Um, and then also before I forget, uh, we'll move to the AC. So uh, so this is our AC unit, um, really, really simple to use. Um, you can obviously have your, your hot and cold controls, and then you can just have your fan controls. So the AC, one thing about the AC is it will only operate if you're on hookups or if you have a generator hooked up to it. Um, for generator, it's usually got to be about 3,000 3, watt or above. So if you have your own, that's awesome. Um, but we also have a Furman 3,200 or 3,400 watt uh, generator that we allow as an add-on as well for about $60 a day. Um, and then we also have our thermostat here. So this is your heater. Uh, you can use this dry camping, no problem. Um, so you can just set, obviously, what temp you want it to be at up here. And then there's a you'll hear it start up whenever it gets below that temp, and it will keep it at that temp that you want. Um, and keep the trailer warm for you when you're in a cold environment. Also on our bunks, before I forget, we have uh, two curtains. So for privacy, um, you can extend them out and they Velcro on this side. Um, and, you know, your kids or whoever you have uh, sleeping in there are able to just have some privacy and, and you know, have their own time at nighttime. We also have our bathroom here. So as you can see, uh, we have a small storage um, space right here uh, where you can fit, you know, different toiletries, um, different things like that. Um, you can see our toilet that we have in there, a uh, nice porcelain toilet uh, that's able to flush um, really well. And then we also have our trash can uh, to the right of it. We also have our uh, storage area that you see up top where you can put other toiletries. Uh, there's a little shelf below it as well where you can put toothbrushes, um, different things like that. Some hangers on the side and then also a mirror. Um, also a 110 outlet as well. Um, which is perfect for if you want to, you know, dry your hair or anything like that. Quick note on that. If you're using any higher wattage stuff like hair dryer stuff, you've got to be on hookups or on the generator. Um, as we move on to our shower, uh, one really cool thing about this is the skylight. So for taller people like me, the fact that it has a skylight, I'm able to fit in here pretty decently. And then we also have a water miser. So what this does is you can turn this on to get, to get the water going. And, um, as you're waiting for the water to get hot, this isn't wasting the water. It's just recycling back in the system. Um, so it makes it to where as you're waiting for the water to get hot, you're not wasting any water, um, which is the big thing when you're dry camping. Um, and then you also just have your normal controls down here. And then you can also have a shower uh, diverter that allows it to be a shower instead of a bath. And then uh, another cool feature about this is that is also an, a bathtub. So for us, um, we have three kids. It's really helpful in you know, being able to not uh, just give them a shower. Sometimes kids are a little scared of that. Um, we're able to just fill this up and give them a good bath. So yeah, that's about it for the interior features. And like I said, we're going to be going over everything in here and on the outside more in detail in other videos. Thanks.